So all I'm doing at the moment is I've prepared my, what we call an ICSI dish. Yep. So that's the dish where I'll be injecting eggs with sperm. And now I'm adding the, the sperm to that dish. Yep. We're doing it in the incubator, so it's nice and warm. So it's an IVF crib, so it's heated and gassed. Mm -hmm. And so the sperm's in and then I get my eggs, which is the, the second part. So we just do a quick ID check, mm -hmm. just to make sure I'm using the right material. Mm -hmm. Eggs to the dish. This particular patient has four eggs. So we've got both the parts we need to make a baby in there. Now we're going to put them together. <laughs> It's called a micro manipulator or an inverted microscope. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. Okay, so the first part is not that exciting. We just have to align our for pets to make sure that they're all lined up. So that one, that pet's called a holding pet, and that is the pet we use to grip the egg and to keep it steady during the injection. So we're going to uh, choose a sperm, a lucky sperm. Lucky sperm. So, injected. so what we're looking for here is a, a sperm that is um, firstly swimming, swimming well, so swimming fairly quickly in a progressive, so straight line. Yeah. Um, and we want the, the head, mid piece and tail, which are the three key parts of the sperm. Um, to be normal. It's not too bad. Um, we have to mobilise him. So I can't see that. Um, so we run our pet over the over the tail of the sperm to immobilise it and to also break the, the sperm membrane. Yeah. So by breaking the sperm membrane, when we inject into the egg, that will allow the, the DNA, will allow the, the, the sperm to fuse with the egg and the DNA to be released. So can you see that? Yeah. yeah. So if I mobilise that one, we, yeah. we do that by putting a kink in the start. Now, 
injection pad down with a swim. Yeah. Uh, now we align the polar body of the egg. So the, the polar body is, so an egg, when it's immature, has um, 46 chromosomes, but we want half the chromosomes to come from the egg and half to come from the sperm. So the egg will, when it becomes mature, will inject half of its chromosomes into what's called a polar body. Yep, can you see it? Which is there. And then, then we can inject our sperm and then it'll reform to the correct number of chromosomes. Um, so we align our polar body at either 12 o'clock or 6 o'clock because yep. what's called the myotic spindle in most cases sits under that polar body so it's very important to uh, meiosis. So we don't want to we don't want to pierce that spindle yes. with our needle, because okay, that will may cause uh, aberrations in, in, in when the chromosomes are being rearranged. So I bring my I bring my sperm down to the end of the pet. Uh, here I've got to make sure that my my injection pet is actually in the right plane. So we want to be injecting in the middle of the egg. So I just give it a little bit of a poke, and what I want to see is that furrow. Yep. And then when we you know we're in the middle, chin. Then we we suck back the side bottom. Yeah. So we need to break the ulema of the egg. So we know so there's a thin membrane around the egg. Sperm's positive and then it's removed. Nice. That's it.